Right on, everybody. Well, I'm back. Uh, now that the neck is all sanded and ready, I'm uh, going to do some sanding on the body today. It's uh, been sanded down to like uh, 60 grit or 80 grit with a, an orbital sander, so there's some high and some low spots. So I'm going to go through there and make everything nice and flat. And uh, and then I've also got some supplies on the way to uh, get ready to fix the binding uh, that's broke right here. So. Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, interesting, that's all I can say right now. But uh, yeah, I've got, uh, I got some binding here and I've got some other stuff. Um, it's just going to be a matter as if I can actually pull it off or not. So that's that, so I'm going to get to sanding and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, you know, I just got to uh, tell you. Uh, I've been burning through a lot of sandpaper trying to, you know, go through this and make stuff work. This stuff here, you can see right through it, right? This is called Wonder Weave, and it comes with a Velcro backing. And I, I got a, a special uh, hard uh, sanding block for it, and there's also a flexible one. So, like, if you're doing, like, uh, where did it go? Here it is. If you're doing like uh, around bends and stuff like that, it's super flexible. So you can like, I use it for going around here on the bends uh, of the hips of the guitar and stuff like that. It works really well. And this stuff, man, it just really moves the wood out of the way. So much better than all the traditional like regular like sandpapers. So uh, I, uh, but it doesn't work so good on, on like smoothing out paint. Uh, and finishes and stuff, but for uh, doing this part right here, I was wasting my time on that with that other stuff. So uh, this is 180 grit, uh, as you can see right here, and uh, I'll be doing the, the whole guitar with that. And when I'm done, uh, I'm just going to keep working up to other grits. You probably don't want to watch me sand all of that, so uh, I'll be back in a while. Right on. So this thing's been sanded up to 240 now, all the way around. And uh, I just have to hit the sides with it just to make sure everything is all the same all the way around. But it's uh, already looking way better. Um, I think my uh, other thing was, not that it really matters on this side here so much, but uh, on the back side, I, I had a couple of little uh, fish eyes that showed up in the clear coat. and. Uh, and I think, you know, I'm not a professional painter by any means, but I think it may have had something to do with uh, there would be maybe some irregularities and some dust and some crap on the back that uh, I should have uh, maybe been a little more careful with. But that is uh, what this is uh, going to be all about, is try to get it all done at the right time, like the third time. <laughs> So I've got to uh, sand this thing one more time. I think it stopped at 320. Uh, that's where all the woodworker guys say stop. You don't need to go past that unless you're going to clear coat at all. So uh, since I've got to be putting a primer and a bunch of clear coat on there, I think 320 is going to be okay uh, all the way around. I might even uh, sand the back 400 and uh, leave the front at 320. So there you go. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Well, here's an interesting fact, or maybe it's not interesting. So out of this whole entire shape, uh, I can use a sanding block uh, or a flexible sanding block on every one of these little curves here. Of course, the front and the back, I use a, a nice uh, flat sanding block. The only place that I have to do by hand is uh, from right here to here and that's uh, that's that everything else is uh, done by block if that uh, makes any sense so I'm gonna go back to uh, finishing this up I just uh, finished the 240 so uh, it'll be uh, 320 and then I'm just waiting for the heat gun to show up so uh, I'll be back Well, I got the uh, body all sanded down to 320, front, back, and sides. I also, if you notice, I took out the uh, the shielding tape that I had here. 
Uh, I did that as well on the back side here. There's still a little edge on there, but I'll scrape that off with a razor blade. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I found that I had some other stuff that I wanted to try out for shielding. So I'm going to use it instead of the, uh, the copper tape and uh, go from there. So I'm just still waiting for my other piece to show up so that I can start working on the, uh, the binding. But until then, uh, that's it. So I'll, uh, I'll be back later.